Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunsling Rash with Asylum Suicidal. How are you guys doing? Me? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What is this? Is the Horzine logo? Graffitied up. There's so much stuff in this map, dude. There's, there's, like, every time we play this, I feel like I'm discovering something new. It's like every, every time I'm like, ooh, it comes. We're finding the Horzine logo thing with graffiti on it. There's, just, there's so much, there's an astounding amount of detail in this map. It's incredible. Dunka. Yo, they still live? I thought they died when you headshot them with the with the bash. And why did you just like bounce? Yeah, they die. The heck? Why did that one live? Okay. So you're obviously like gonna die, but you, you're dead. Like I don't want to. I want to just. I want to one tap you in the face. Okay? It's for science. Just clearing them out so we have uh, some clean Zeds to, to test here. Dunka, dead. Dang. 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 Yeah, they die. Why, why does that one live? We can reopen the trailer. What the heck? What the heck's with that, man? So it's like, is it a variable amount of damage and I just rolled really low or something? Did I happen to hit just like on a weird spot on the head that takes less damage? I don't know, man. Why'd he live? Shouldn't have lived. I'm deeply offended. Like, he still died. And he did a little bounce, which was funny, but... Anyone bring a giant fan? Thoughts closed. Go make a difference. I checked my cryptocurrency portfolio today. I don't normally, like, pay attention to it, honestly. I put some money in a while back. I, like, I, ha I own some crypto, you know? I'm the, uh, I'm the, uh... Indifferent owner of, of various cryptocurrencies. Well, only LTC. I only own Litecoin. I don't own anything else. I should, I should probably diversify a little bit, maybe, but... Whatever. <laughs> I just... I don't have much, you know? Um, I made a little bit of money with it, and then I, I've got I've got some kind of left there, just kind of... I mean, it's been mostly just as a hope that uh, it, like, explodes one day, and Litecoin ends up, you know, hitting like 10,000 or something like that, and I end up getting a, a decent bit of cash out of it kind of thing, you know? Like that that kind of an investment, right? Just, it's an amount of money I don't care about losing, and there's a small chance that it just, you know, goes to the moon and I'm rich. Um, that's kind of where I'm at with it. But uh, I checked my portfolio today, and it's actually up a, a fair bit. But on the 9th of January, it was up like 50% from where it is right now. And I'm like, man... <laughs> you know, if, if I just paid attention to the, to the, um, to the market a little bit more, I might have been able to, to sell when it was up a little and bought some right now or something and, um, been good to go. So then the other thing is, like, right now it still kind of feels like it's up. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe I sell now and, uh, and rebuy when it goes back down. I don't know, dude. I'm not a big uh, investing kind of person. Like I said, it's mostly just a uh, for fun kind of thing. I just I, I own some crypto just because uh, why not, right? Didn't put me out any to buy it, and there's always the opportunity that it goes up. And you know, worst case scenario, I get to have some fun with it, right? Uh, it's 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 very very low risk. It's money that I just don't care about, right? Um, so I'm kind of like I don't know. Do I do I do I sell it now? Do I rebuy it when it uh, when it is you know because it, it looks like it's going down right now? But that's not really you can't really pay attention to that so much. You know what I mean? Like it's obviously important to to know, but like you know that's not the only information you need to know because it can be going down and then it goes up again. You know, it could have been going down because uh, people were expecting something to happen, and then something happens, you know, tomorrow. And people were like, wow, no, this was good. 
and uh, the price goes back up again, you know? It, uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of numbers of reasons that uh, that the price would change around, and, and you can't really necessarily predict it if you're just kind of going off of just the um, the graph that uh, that the crypto's been kind of displaying. It's just not enough information to make any kind of educated uh, decision on that. But it's also the only information I care to pay attention to, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, so I'm like, I don't know. Kind of looking at the history of it, you, you, it'd probably be a good idea to sell now. Um, for Litecoin, anyway. Um, because I imagine, it, it's at like 170 right now, I imagine it's going to drop down to like 100, 120-ish. Um, so I'd be able to make a bit of a profit if I were to sell now and then rebuy then. But, you know, how confident am I that that's going to happen? Like, 5%. The other 95% is, I don't know what the heck's going on. <laughs> you know, like, like, it's not like, I think it's not going to happen. It's it's 5% that I think this is going to happen, and then 95% that I, I have just no clue what's going to happen. So, I don't know. But uh, I think I think my decision is, uh, next time it goes up to, like, 230, the Litecoin, I'm going to sell. I think, I think that's my strategy. I think, I think that's, that's my own personal strategy. It's not advice. <laughs> I don't recommend investing, um, but that's my, uh, that's, that's what I, I'm thinking of right now, just because I don't know, could be fun, right? And again, it's money I don't really care about, so I'm just going to kind of hope for the best. If it goes up to like 240, I sell, I get a little bit of extra cash out of it, wait for it to go back down, buy again, it's like, dude, it's, uh, it's pretty good stuff, right? Again, I'm, uh, I'm not recommending anybody follow what I'm saying. It's not advice. Specifically not. Don't, don't, don't come to me for investing advice. Unless you want to lose a lot of money. And then, uh, you know, you can, you can maybe listen to the nonsense I'm saying. And uh, hope it works. <laughs> but it probably won't. It's just it's fun. I know one thing that I do recommend is that... Uh, you know, if you have, you know, 50 bucks of, of, of spending cash, try something. I'm not going to tell you what you should try. I, b I believe that's actually illegal for me to do because I don't have a, a license to do that. Um, but I, w I will say if you have 50 bucks to spend on, you know, something, try investing. What, what happens? You lose 50 bucks? At least, you, know, maybe, you know, you get to have fun. You get to try it a little bit. You get to have some experience with it. Say so you tried, you know. That's a good experience. I think that's worth 50 bucks. I'm not going to tell you what you should invest in. But, um... I mean, I will. Uh, if you want to actually invest, uh, I recommend you go to your bank and be like, Hi there, can we go over the investment uh, packages that we have here? And then they'll be like, uh, sure. Uh, you know, let's uh, evaluate your risk. And then uh, you'll end up in a... in a package that, that, that uh, aligns with your, your kind of... Uh, acceptance for for risk i also have one of those um and that's that's what i recommend if you're actually looking to like get money out of it i don't recommend investing just like yourself really um if you if you wanted to to do that and again that, that's that's also not guaranteed money you know now, you're not going to definitely make money if you do that they're, they're I mean, but you know they're gonna explain that to you they're like yeah you could just lose it all you know, but uh, depending on how comfortable you are with uh, with that, you'll either get into a high risk, high return, or low risk, low return. You know, I've got uh, I've got some investments myself along that line. But then it's also just kind of fun to to play around with it yourself, right? I don't think it's practical, but it's fun. I like playing around with crypto in particular. I used to be, I used to trade crypto around a little bit, um, not anymore, again, like I said, I haven't even paid attention to it, I didn't even know it was, like, up a whole bunch the other day. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, is just wait for it to go back up to, uh, like a decent profit for, for where I bought it from, and then, um, I mean, it's profit for me to sell it right now, but, um, not, not enough, you know? 
to wait for it to be a decent profit. So hey, I think that if you if you go into it and you don't know kind of where you're gonna sell, you're just never gonna sell, you know? It's kinda it's kinda what I've learned in um like flipping in games. So if you just buy stuff, you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, buy low, sell high. But you don't actually have like a This cat's back in the game. Um you don't actually have like a uh, a goal, you know. It's not gonna work. You're not you're not gonna end up selling. At what point are you gonna be comfortable? Are you gonna just decide that on the fly? Probably not. You know, on the fly, you're gonna be like, well, I don't know. It's still going up. May as well just uh, keep it going, right? That's what's gonna happen. I assure you. This happened to me many times. So uh, that's why right now I'm setting the goal of. Uh, of 240 on the on the Litecoin for for me personally to feel like I should sell. Which again is an advice that you should do that. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is gonna happen to Litecoin. Just for me with my money I don't care about. It's not much, but there's a little bit in there. It's fun. I like seeing the graph, seeing the money go around. Honestly that's my favorite part. I get the uh, I have my investments um package thing, you know? Um, and you get like a, I get, I get like a mail all the time saying, uh, you know how they're doing, and you get to see the little graph of it all, and uh, it feels really good when the graph is going up, and then it feels really bad when the graph is going down. It's definitely quite a ways up, thankfully. Um, but you know, who knows where it's going to be uh, five years from now, right? Hopefully, still up. <laughs> Hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see. The Zeds are close. Safety's off. Weather. Great. Okay. I wanna do some, some more testing here, okay? Let's separate them a little bit and then Donka. Nope. Donka. Nope. Donka. Come on. Just a little Donka. Fine. Just wanna play like that? See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stay up to date on uh, crypto stuff and, and just uh, sell when it's high, buy when it's low, you know? It's, um. Not really a good strategy to just go in with only that. I should be paying attention to the news in the crypto space and, like, you know, all of that, but. No. <laughs> I just don't wanna. Get into mining. I think there's a few cryptos that are uh, profit to mine. It's funny. A lot of people, uh, a lot, a lot of people talk about, oh, I'm gonna start mining crypto and make bank, and it's like, nah. Like, your electricity bill kind of ends up like <laughs> also going up at uh, at about the same rate that uh, that you mine crypto. So. Yeah. Get yourself not really that great. Um, but you know, whatever. I think there are a few cryptos. I don't think Bitcoin is profitable to mine, unless you uh, you happen to have like cheap electricity, or you have the like the ASICs or whatever. Um, you know all that kind of stuff. If you have like a proper setup for it, and I think you can you can maybe make a bit of profit on it. Um, obviously there are people doing it. There are people making tons of money doing it. Like, you can make profit doing it. It just it takes a little bit more setup. You can't just go, like, buy a computer and mine Bitcoin, I don't think. And have it be profitable. In most places, you know. I'm sure in some places, uh, you can. Um, but only, only where the electricity bill is, is, uh, is gonna be low enough for it to actually be worth it. Cause you end up you end up running your your graphics card or whatever at like 100 percent for all day long. It's pulling like you know 400 watts or something. That's that's gonna put a strain on your electricity bill, for sure. For sure. I think uh, Ethereum might be the one that's uh. Uh, profitable to mine, but I don't know. And like I said, I don't really pay attention to this kind of stuff. 
I don't really care to, you know? No, it never really matters to me in the grand scheme of things. Like, I like investing in crypto and, and kind of being a part of it in that sense. But I also just don't really care about, like, crypto news and stuff. I just... I don't have the time, dude. That's why I, uh, that's why I pay somebody else to invest for me. When it comes to money I actually care about. Because it takes a lot of time to do it, like... You know... Make, make educated investing decisions. It takes a lot of time and energy and effort to, to do the research and all that. A lot of time and energy and effort. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be super into it. And I'm not. I enjoy it, but it's not, it's not like a passion of mine, right? I like reading Wall Street bets from time to time. Because you see these, like, kids, basically who just happened to have dumped a bunch of money that they saved up into a into a, a stock that just like skyrocketed and uh, they're, they're talking like they know something and I'm like you just got lucky <laughs> you know like you did you're not really a professional investor you just you just kind of won the lottery it's not really <laughs> the, like, you know, good for you, but it's always it's always funny reading them like, oh, you gotta invest in this one. Stock's going way up. I'm like, ah, I don't know. Says says who? They're like, I just it's uh looking really good. I'm like, yeah, it's up like 300. I'm like, it's I don't know about that one. Dump all your money in it. I don't know. People were saying that about Bitcoin though, and and look where that got them. To, to the to the you know multi-millionaires <laughs> they did great it's funny that uh, there's that one dude who uh, who bought a pizza with Bitcoin how many did he how many bitcoins did the pizza cost yeah they <laughs> somebody bought a pizza for 10,000 bitcoins. That's a grand total of, in the current day, they're like 42,000 Canadian. Um, so that's a grand total of like, gonna add five zeros to that. So that's 40, 420 million dollars that that pizza would have cost in the current day. They spent the equivalent. Like that's 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 insane to think about. Now the other on the other hand, if they didn't do that, like that was kind of what got Bitcoin started, right? Was that they were able to do that? That's what made it take off. Uh, so if they didn't do that, then Bitcoin probably wouldn't be worth forty-two thousand Canadian dollars right now. But at the same time, it is kind of funny to think about, right? They spent like four hundred and twenty million dollars worth of Bitcoin today. On a pizza like 10 years ago or something absolutely just madness absolute madness it's like damn and you know the other the other thing is is like people are always like man that would suck I'm like, i don't know this person was clearly very into bitcoin they probably had like many many more they're probably just doing fine right now they're probably even pleased that uh Bitcoin's taken off. Like, dang, dude, look at that. They probably don't regret it at all. They, they probably recognize that, uh, you know, them buying that pizza was... Uh, and again, I don't know. I can't really talk for them for sure, but... My, my guess is that they recognize that them buying that pizza was the, you know, impetus for making Bitcoin take off like it did. And, uh... They had, they had a whole bunch more, so like, you know what? It was a $420 million pizza, but at the same time, if I didn't buy that $420 million pizza, I wouldn't have $420 million right now, so. You know, whatever. So, I don't know. I, 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 I you know, it's just, that's, that's the kind of person who's going to have more than just 10,000 Bitcoins back then, you know? Like, if you're going to spend 10,000 on a pizza, you're not just going to, like, immediately afterwards just give up on having Bitcoin. You know what I mean? No way in heck you're doing that. 
So they're they're probably doing fine. But it is it is madness to think about. Nowadays you don't you don't I don't, like nowadays you don't buy anything with a Bitcoin. You buy it with like point zero 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 percent of a Bitcoin, you know. Like it's just it's this tiniest fraction of a Bitcoin that you actually end up using for 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 any kind of normal thing. I mean, it's not really like that many zeros, but it's, it's like point zero 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 three or something like that, that that you'd end up spending on, you know, something. Right? Three zeros would take it down to like. 50 bucks or something, 100 bucks, ish, somewhere in that general range, I think, right? Maybe four zeros, I don't know. I can't, I can't do that kind of math on uh, on camera. It's no good. The other, the other crazy thing with Bitcoin for me is that uh, there was that like rush in 2017, I believe, like in December 2017, um, where Bitcoin like just skyrocketed suddenly to like 20,000 or something it's crazy to think that even during the like peak of that rush if you were to have bought bitcoin you'd still have gotten a 100% return on investment like <laughs> that's nutty but if you bought it during the peak of the like what, what many people consider to be the peak of cryptocurrency like people who are like laymen um, like if, if you bought it during the peak of the peak for what you consider to be the peak, it just like you'd still be getting like 100% return on your investment. Just absolutely nutty. I don't know why it goes up so much either. Like there's no real value to it. It just is expensive for the sake of being expensive for like no real reason. I don't really get it. But uh. I own some, not Bitcoin, but um, crypto. I don't really get it though. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. We should make our own crypto, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.